everyone. Welcome back. So today I'm going to do a, just a quick video of a mini haul that I have done. I don't know how many, but uh, from TJ Maxx and from Sephora. If you've noticed, I haven't done some, uh, Ulta hauls, even though they've had their sale. The reason is, don't ask me why I'm a platinum member. I've got all these points that I want to use. They stopped allowing me to buy online. And with me having had surgery and the weather being so crappy, I, you know, I, and I called them and I tried to get, I even called their corporate office to try to understand like, why? Like, why did you stop? Why did you guys stop me from buying online? And nobody's ever called me back. And I really don't like that. Their customer service is down the tubes. Um, I've called their customer service before and you would think that, again, I even called corporate and the corporate office just never got back to me. They took my name and number, they just never got back to me. So right now I am sticking with um, Alta, I mean Sephora. So, but then I saw some things at TJ Maxx and I thought, okay, I gotta try this. So let's go through that, cause that's smaller. So um, outside of a pair of shoes that I bought, uh, I bought some pair of Merrells, uh, which are really comfortable shoes that are really ultra expensive. I got them like for $40 and they were really cute. You know, I'm wearing flats now, especially since surgery, I'm wearing flats, it's just easier that way. So, um, and they're really cute and they're real lightweight. So I bought those, but as far as makeup stuff. So I picked up some of this Purology, um, Purology Perfect for Platinum because of my highlights. Um, I wanted to, you know, brighten them up a little bit. And I used the, um, the spray, the leave-in, it is the Miracle Filler, and I really enjoy that. So I figured I'd pick up some of this, and it was really cheap. It's only the 8-ounce bottle, but I think it was only like $16 or something. So I picked this up. Then I picked up, and I haven't even opened it. This is the Burberry Eye Color Contour, um, and I don't even know what color it is. And it's got these security tags on it, so bear with me as I try to open this. And um, as you can tell, I like online shopping. It's just easier for me sometimes, you know. And holy cow, this is buried in there. So let me get this open. All right, and it comes, it's the, again, it's the eye, it's the smoke and sculpt pen. And, oh, it's a really pretty light nude color. And let me just swatch it. You see, I'm thinking this would be really pretty, like, base for your eyeshadow, for all over. Matter of fact, that's actually really neutral, and, and it pretty much matches my skin. So I think this would be really pretty to just, you know, sculpt out the eyebrow, okay, or just use it as a base. And I like that. So and this was also not really expensive, so I thought that was a really good buy. And then last, and I've been wanting to dying to try this because I don't tan my face anymore. I just don't. Been there, done that, working too hard to reverse all the damage that I caused to it. So I picked up and um, an ig -er had told me about this and I'm just trying to remember her name right now. And um, she had warned us about this and it is the uh, Tan Lux, the, the body, illuminating self tan drops so uh so this is the body but i thought that you could use this also along on the face so i'm gonna pull this out and here it is it's self illuminating self drops and it's the light medium and what you're supposed to do no i this is the body one i really wanted the face one let's see well, I think what you can do is you add this to your, you add this to your moisturizer or whatever, and just, or your serums, and you add this to your face. But now I just noticed this is the body one, and I am 99% sure that I ordered the face one. So I better go and check that. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm keeping this. I'm not really sure. If I do keep it, because, you know, at Sephora, this thing is something ridiculous, like, $50, $45, and this was not that much. So I'm going to check, though, to see if I actually ordered the body one versus the face. I thought I had ordered the face. 
I'm not sure if this is going back, but I'm definitely keeping that and the shampoo. Now, Sephora. Uh, Sephora, I did a little bit more damage, and mainly the one of the things that I was really into, because I'm I'm really trying to do more good for my skin, natural skincare and makeup. So, for example, I've been loving the Osmosis CC Cream, the Osmosis um, Foundation, Satin Foundation, which is what I have on right now, which I'm absolutely loving, okay? And I, uh, but things like lipsticks, so I like Bite lipsticks. Well, there's a new one that just came out, this brand called Lawless, okay? And I picked up three colors three different shades. So I thought I'd open them right now and test them out with you. So always free of stuff that's bad for you. And uh, makeup is sexy, makeup is transformative, but it says, at Lawless, I'm committed to providing beauty products that are always free of ingredients that harm your skin, your health, the earth, and the animals. So I, as this, I can honestly say this is going to be cruelty-free. And um, let's see, and it says, formulated without parabens, phthalates, PEGs, mineral oil, sulfates, aluminum, chemical, chemical fragrance, silicones, petroleum, and it is cruelty-free. So let's open some of these and let's go through and get, look at these colors. I just thought, you know, they're all going to be neutrals because, you know, I'm into the neutral right now. So let's do this Leo. They, they have guys' names on these. So let's see if I push this, ugh, pull this out. Okay, and the Leo is more of a peach color. And this is called a soft liquid matte. So let's try Leo first. So as I open this, it comes with a small dull foot applicator. And here's the color Leo. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just gonna swatch them on my hands. But let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna do both. Okay, so this is Leo. I'm gonna put that across this way. Let me go ahead and put that on. That is a beautiful peach color. Okay, that's Leo. I'm gonna find one that matches my outfit a little bit better. Peach and the red is not, not really. This one is Brad. This one's gonna be more pink toned. Let me get this one out. I love the packaging on them. They're like this matte coloring. And so, again, the doe foot applicator. This is Brad. And Brad is in the center. More of a pink toned. Okay. And lastly, let's open up. Where's my other one? Oh, here it is. Lastly, Let's open up George. And George, to me, strikes me as a color between the peach and the pink. So let's see how this works out. If I can get it out of the package. Come on, George, come on out. Don't break my nail, George. I'll be very upset. All right. All right, here we go. So George, yeah, George strikes me as a more of a nudie color. So let's put that, let's swatch that one. Yeah, I like that. Yep, so George is more of a beige nude. So there is Leo, Brad, and George. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is on my lips right now, I'm going to, first, I'm going to, let's see. Put on George. Let's see how this, right? Yeah, I'm going to put on George. And let's see how it applies, okay? No fragrance. Okay, let's see. Very pigmented. Yeah. 
and there's George. Beautiful color. Um, not settling into my lines. Does not feel drying for now. So, yeah, I think I like these. Um, I think I'm actually going to like, you know, this is an everyday mat. I'm loving it. think I'm going to like these. But, of course, when Marc Jacobs comes out with stuff, I don't know. It's an addiction. I mean, I'm seriously. Plus, lippies are a little bit of an addiction for me. So I had to pick up this cute little set. This is the uh, Enamored uh, Shine with Shine number two. It's the travel sizes lip glosses, and it comes with Sugar Sugar, which is like an all-time favorite of mine, Love Buzz, Some Girls, and Make Me, okay? I love to have these in my purse. I also like the fact that these can go in your pocket. Like if you've got a little pocket, or you've got a really small purse, or you know what I mean? These are perfect. So had to pick these up. These, I love Sugar Sugar. I've got Sugar Sugar like in like three purses because I love that color. So I had to pick up that. And lastly, I picked up this Sephora Pro Pro Pigmented Palette in Metallic. Okay. Now the reason I picked this up, I believe that I might put this, might, who knows, in a giveaway. These colors are so freaking beautiful, but I am an old woman and I don't know if I could pull these off. Look at those metallics. These look so pretty online that I just had to buy it. But I'm thinking that some very lucky person subscriber on my YouTube channel is going to get this. So this I bought as a giveaway. Now the all with all this stuff came, you know, I gotta love Sephora freebies, you know, the samples. So this month, I'm gonna put this back in the packaging, I'm not touching it. This month, one of the giveaways or one one of the items that was is this whole bag of samples of foundation samples now again I love my osmosis I love my you know my osmosis and my my uh, my CC cream but how fun is it just to go around and just try some of these so I haven't even opened this it does come with a nice sample of the hangover by benefit I mean Too Faced and then you have in here Marc Jacobs Shameless. You have in here uh, Fenty Beauty, Laura Mercier. You've got some of the Sephora ones. You've got Makeup Forever. You've got NARS. So, you know, this is gonna be one of those, I think I'm just gonna play today and uh, just try on all of these, um, you know, to see how they all play out. So I thought that was really nice, but then I really wanted to try the Cover FX one. So they also had, because uh, this came in two different purchases, um, the Cover FX, uh, uh, Cover FX Power Play Foundation. I got it in the N40, and I needed to buy, get the sample because I've heard good reviews of this too. Um, this might be a little bit too dark for me, but we'll see. Let me see, I'm gonna put some on my hand, the N40. Just gonna put a little bit. I think it might be too yellow. So I'm just gonna blend that in. And it's like right there. So I guess it is a good color. I'll have to put it on my, you know, my neck to check it. So I got this as a sample. So there you go. There's my little mini haul. I'm going to be testing some of these out with you um, at a later date. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you back soon. Thanks. <laughs>